What is up? It is Blynn. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, happy Saturday. I'm back with a little bit more of a kind of upbeat, silly drama video for you because honestly, I think with all the heaviness in the world and everything going on, I think it's time we had a little bit of fun as well, a little bit of light hearted kind of tea. So I'm here painting my face. I'm working on my orange pride look. So I grabbed my pricked palette, I grabbed a few other bits, um, some P. Louise base and some other stuff and I'm going to be carrying on with the look but let's also while we're here get into the tea because honestly Jacqueline Hill is doing the most again and being called out for it again. Jacqueline Hill, Jacqueline Shill, oh this time, this time it is Jacqueline Hill being called out for being unrelatable, being told to humble herself. Now, Jacqueline Hill, of course, has many, many Birkins and very well off, very wealthy. But now she's being told to humble herself because of this. Okay, so I've seen people say that they love McDonald's coffee, all right? And I have not had it in probably 10 years. So since we're on vacation, we ordered it on Postmates. And this is my first time tasting it since I was probably like 21. This is trash. Trash. People in my DMs talking about how I need to humble myself. I'm like, bitch, please. Okay, I used to be on food stamps. I used to drink McDonald's coffee, all right? I worked hard and I don't have to, but still fuck hard for their breakfast. It's elite, in my opinion. Jacqueline Hill complaining about having to drink poor people coffee. Oh, poor people coffee. Poor people coffee that I used to drink when I was on food stamps. Oh, poor me. I'm the victim. People are having a go at me because I'm drinking poor people coffee that I used to drink when I was on food stamps. Oh, you know I was on food stamps. Girl, Jacqueline, how many times is she going to bring this up? Like, Jacqueline Hill does this over and over and over again. She comes on Instagram, she plays the victim when people call her out for things that she does that are kind of shady or just kind of like, you know, she tries to be relatable but in a really kind of inauthentic way. People call her out for it, she blasts them on Instagram and this is now what Jacqueline does. Jacqueline was uploading on YouTube quite regularly, her Jacqueline's Journey videos, and then she like completely stopped doing those and basically left her audience hanging. Now, how are you going to have a subscriber base of a few million people and just not give two squirts of pee about it and leave them hanging? You know, how are you going to come out and say, oh, I'm going to do this wellness journey and I want you all to come along with me, all of that, and then just stop it dead and leave everyone who was invested in that series hanging. You know what I mean? This, this majesticness, like, I don't know if you can see it properly or if this is gonna do it any justice, but this majesticness that I've found to put on my eyes here, this was a recent kind of discovery for me with makeup. It is the Danessa Merrick's, um, what is it called? Chroma Flakes, and this is Lightning Bolt, the shade that I've got here, but, it just is so so pretty it like reflects the light and goes sort of different shades different colors tones absolutely gorgeous i'm just going to get a tiny tiny bit on a little sort of silicone applicator to put it on my eye look i don't know like it is just oh there it's just done in you can't see the green shift on my phone i think but it is stunning stunning beautiful and it's like a gel formula i'm just gonna take it and plop it right in here absolutely stunning literally looks like fire on your eyelids it is 
so beautiful. I'm obsessed with these. Absolutely obsessed. Like, I can't get enough of these. Like, look at that shimmer. That sparkle. Like, wow, right? That is so, so pretty. So, so pretty. I did also grab two more in those when I saw them because I just wanted to try them. I've never tried these kind of things before and I got the pride one you can see this one really goes like all different colors in the light it's got like pink purple turquoise gorge and I got a purple one and this has got like a purple and turquoise shift they're stunning I swatched them on my hand the other day and they are stunning I am obsessed looking for my little silicone spatula thing there I just I can't get enough I love a bit of sparkle love a bit of glitter and these just spoke to me okay so I think for the bottom lashes now I've got a little bit of white pencil on there I think I'm going to use this blood orange mascara that's like really offensively bright orange because it matches the rest of my makeup and I want to see if I put it over this white pencil if it's actually going to work which I thought like the white pigment from the pencil might make it pop more and it definitely kind of does let's have a look here just try and coat my bottom lashes get in there so I have these like little teardrops that are just made out of glue from a glue gun I'm trying to decide between the gold like and the clear one um, I've got a few of them here in different like sizes and stuff let's see oh no that one looks a bit weird there like just dotting them on there for now I'll stick them down with eyelash glue when I decide but like I don't know the clear ones definitely look like more realistic like real tears but the gold is more like fun mm, little bit of glitter in it we'll see we'll see I think the gold are quite nice though like cute while I'm just waiting for the glue on my lashes to go a little bit tacky just going to dip into a highlighter I think today I'm probably going to use this one here or I don't know, should I go for like a bluey one? Give it a little bit of interest. Oh no, actually I think I'm going to use this gold breaker shade, which is like speckled. There, that one. Yeah, let's grab a little bit of that. There we go. little bit I say and then I add loads lashes now I'm going to use these tatty lashes because I really like these and they were a bargain I got them for like two pounds on the tatty lashes website they were having a sale and it was so good they were like two pounds and they're the tatty lashes Mitchell lashes these ones and they're like 5d lashes whatever but two pounds each a pair i was like oh my gosh and they had the abby roberts lashes there as well for a really really affordable price too because it was all on sale and you know me i love bargains i love affordable lip on i feel so naked without a lip okay so mm, that could be cute See, I wanted to go orangey, but I feel like that's going to, like, destroy the look, so maybe not. I think it's going to be between black and this, like, Shane gunmetal colour. I don't know. Mm. I'm going to have orange hair, so I think black. Change of plan. I'm going in with some brown lip liner, first of all. And then I'm going to go in with, I think, this colour lip.
and then maybe some like metallic one in the center let's have a look yeah this car's cute i've got my little teardrops on the face is done so i'm just going to give it a final spritz with setting spray and i'll be right back okay so that is pretty much the finished look that is it and i hope you enjoyed this video sorry that there wasn't really much drama in it but honestly the drama that's kind of more light-hearted is a bit few and far between at the moment so i'm sorry for that but i hope you enjoyed this video anyway do let me know if you still want me to upload my tk max makeup haul try on video and i will do that for you guys if that is something that you guys want otherwise mm, i might leave it but please let me know if that's something that you guys want from me i'm happy to do a little kind of makeup haul get ready with me video without the drama if that's something that you guys want to watch let me know anyway please let me know all your thoughts with what is going on with jacqueline hill and i will see you very soon take care stay safe stay well love you guys happy pride bye